hi guys welcome back to yet another vlog welcome back to my channel once again my name is harriet anabo so guys today i'm going to be showing you how we traditionally get cassava flour out of cassava as you'll be seeing it in this video stay tuned up to the end of this video so guys first things first we went to the garden and got our cassava very organic as you can see it there and then we went ahead with peeling it with my family so after peeling i went ahead and put it in the sunshine for drying as you'll be seeing in the video but if you haven't subscribed kindly consider subscribing and consider liking my videos and let me know what you think of this video and don't forget to leave a sweet comment for your girl Guys, uh, after peeling the cassava the next thing we are going to power this here so that it can first dry before you take it for storing so that it can get the molds for three to four days and then after you take it for drying again so that you can process it into cassava flour this is what you're supposed to do after the peeling off the covers of the you know come and show them so here we are from peeling the cassava and the cassava the, the cassava peelings are not on so we are going to be putting them down like that so that they can dry so if put them like that Spread them, eh? Mm. So you do it like this up to the end. guys eh? you have to first peel it and then you for keep it, it ferment like for it to one. ferment because this one is fermented mm. Mm. and after four to two, t t maybe three days three, three days mm. if three the days sunshine is there it can take like three mm. days mm. if the sunshine is not there it takes like a whole week no four oh, oh five five days mm. okay for it to look like it's then after i bring it outside the house then you start peeling this off mm. What we are trying to do is, this is the process of getting the cassava flour, guys. Mm. Yes. So after here, we are going to be putting it in the sun. Mm. 
cassava that we are from cleaning me and my lady yeah so come along i want to show you how they dry it so we dry it from this veranda right here so what you see here come and show them this one here is already the dried one so we need to create space so that we also put this one right there. This is how it looks, guys. This is how it looks right here before drying it. So we are going to put it here so that it can dry. So it will take like um the sunshine takes like three days. Three days. Yes. So this is how you do it. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel once again. My name is Harriet Anabo, your girl from Arua. If this is your first time on my channel, you are most welcome, but kindly consider subscribing. And if you're my returning subscriber, thank you so much for always coming back and clicking into my videos. Today we are going to be showing you how we prepare, how we get cassava flour from cassava, traditionally. Minus using the machines, guys. So today I'm going to be taking you through and uh, i'm going to be showing each and every process so the process right now that we are going to do is we have our cassava here you first get the cassava and then you peel it so we got our cassava straight from the garden and then we went on with peeling it after peeling it you have to keep it in the house store it in the house like for three days three to four days so that it can ferment after fermenting you bring it out remove off that top peeling the one I'm going to be showing it to you in this video, guys. And then after, you're going to take it for pounding. So we are going to pound it. So this one is uh, for holding our cassava that is already dried. The dried cassava. This is how it looks like. Show them. This is how the dried cassava looks like. Yeah, that is how it looks like. So we are going to be pounding it with my sister here. Scovia, say hello. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> so Scovia is going to be showing us how they do it. And I'm also going to be part of it. So this is how we do it. So, yeah, like that. Mm -hmm. So the next part is pounding. Eh? We are going to pound like that. So you make sure you pound it up to when it becomes very soft. Eh? I think you can see. So that's how it's done. Okay, so it takes, guys, it takes like five minutes eh, to finish this process. Mm -hmm. So that is how you do it right there. Like that. You see? So are you seeing hmm? there's a difference the one that we started with was bigger so now the more you pound it are you seeing that powder right there so it's coming out yeah so you have to make sure you pound it up to when you don't see those particles of the great cassava and that is what scovia is doing right here but you have to be very energetic eh? Yeah, you have to be so so energetic <laughs> <laughs> like this huh? mm. you have to be so energetic <laughs> <laughs> oh. um, wow look at this come and show them look at that hmm? <laughs> we're trying to process uh, cassava flour which is part of our staple foods here in my culture and this is how you do it traditionally in my village hmm? you don't need to go to the machine when you have this like this hmm? like that mm -hmm. 
wow it's coming out yeah hmm. because it's going to help me all right so this is how it looks okay. like this this is how it looks so i'm going to see if so that i can get the cassava flour this is what we are going to do so you do like this mm -hmm. but you make sure i don't power it down yeah. you're seeing a difference yeah are you seeing guys so you make sure these particles don't go here you only want the flour like this mm -hmm. So when you feel like the flour is over, these particles you can turn them back and then continue pounding them. Yes. Yeah. So this is how it, it is done. So this is how we traditionally get our cassava flour, which is our traditional food in my culture, in West Nile, Northern Uganda. So that's my flour right there. Guys, are you seeing a difference? There are particles here, and then the flour is here. Are you seeing? So this is the flour that we need. So this one is the one that we use for cooking. Yes. yes. So now these particles here are the residues. You power them back here so that you can pound them again. Yes. So Scovia is going to continue. Mm -hmm. Like that. So hope you guys are learning but please don't forget to subscribe like the video and leave a sweet comment for your girl let me know if you like such videos so that you can create more of such and uh let me know where you're watching me from and thank you for staying with me so we are going to pound again to get more flour so this is how it looks like you see we have gotten the flour that we are going to prepare as food. So this is how you do it. Huh? Yeah. So after you take it for cooking, we are going to show you when we are cooking our flour and when we are eating it. But thank you so much for watching me and uh, I think I'll see you in the next video. I love you all. Consider subscribing to my channel and let me know what you think of this video in the comment section. And thank you so much for staying with me up to the end of this video. We love you all. Bye.